there's Moran. This year's the year we finally get up after failing last year. Finally a dry land. The down And our backpacking climbing gear. I paddled the whole way. Hello, it's Kristen from the future. Just a disclaimer that I lost a lot of the footage from the sawtooths and Moran, and are all because my phone glitched last year. So the video will be a little bit disjointed, but I used a lot of Jordan's footage that he had. Also, I thought it'd be fun to do a Moran vlog where we had one first failed attempt last year, and then this summer, during the end of the season, we had a successful trip. So I bunched those together to make it one big Moran vlog. Made it to Wyoming. Back in Wyoming. We're back way too close to Colorado for my liking, but we're gonna go to the Tetons. Hope it's not too cold. We are here in Jackson, Wyoming, and uh, we're just pulling up into town. So we're gonna stop by the mountaineering shop, see if they have any updates on conditions. We'll call the guide service too, see what they have to say, and uh, decide if we're gonna do the Grand or Mount Moran or something else we don't even think about. We'll see, all depends on snow, rain, weather, wind, and uh, what looks fun. So we basically are going to canoe here, across this lake, hike up and then climb to the tip of that mountain. That's where we're going. More views of the Grand Tiwanot and the rest of this range. Our mountain, our first look is that behemoth. We're gonna go up have more videos highlighting our route um, and you know we'll cameo from this canoe that's on the side of my head as I'm driving. Okay, here we are starting the journey you can see the Grand Teton is back there pretty cool this is String Lake so we're getting our packs stuffed into some trash bags if we can a little bit waterproof we're gonna go kayak across String Lake here head over Portage to the next lake Leeway and then uh, you know, ditch the kayaks, start hiking up to our base camp, um, climb Mount Miranda tomorrow. There's Kristen and the lake, and uh, pretty cool. So two packs uh, and a kayak with two people in water that's you know a couple feet deep means we keep bottoming out, which is sweet, you know, exactly what you want. And of course, you have to wear these nice life vests, even though. Uh, it's nearly impossible to drown on the portage section. Heading with the not so light kayak to be lake. Yeah. Hi. Are you taking a video and carrying that? I am. <laughs> Made it to the second lake. We got to paddle around this island. There's Mount Moran. So we're hiking. I'm going to drop the boats off over there. Hike up. And the top some climbing. It's so pretty. Hmm. Okay. So that second lake was much more stressful than the first. Uh, as you can hear the wind, you know, it's calm now, but out in the lake there are full-blown waves, which uh, when you have two backpacks and two people in this kayak, um, basically it starts sinking. Large and okay, me being the heavier one, uh, I'm getting soaked. So, yeah, basically, all the way to just soaking right up into the into the pants and all that jazz. Anyway, peaceful. I don't know, I'm still undecided about water sports. I can't tell if I like them or not. Maybe if we actually did them correctly for one time, we'd be good. Anyway, that's Mount Moran. Uh, there's two horns in the picture. The right one is the east horn, the left one is the left, west horn. Up, we're gonna stash the canoe or the kayak, sorry, right around here. Um, for when we get back tomorrow, and make our way. We came from 
the far side of the lake over there. Here's down there, heading up this uh, gully with the water system here. It's very steep. Keep going up. This was steep, steeper than I was expecting, TBH. Uh, we finally just broke the rivers right over there. We've been following it all the way up. You can see the Grand, that little peak in the center of the screen in the distance. So we're heading up. We're gonna go straight up that ridge right there. And that's where we camp behind there. These are the east and west horns. So we're gonna go on the left side of the left one and that'll take you up to the actual climbing in the morning. It's taking us uh, a couple hours longer this morning than originally planned because of some route finding issues. There's the black dike up there. We're gonna head up here, propel off the backside, and start climbing. So, Falling Ice Glacier, Grand Teton. It's a lot of elevation gain. Instead of a uh, fourth class scramble, turn it into about like two, five, seven pitches, which is not great. On loose, crappy rock, but uh, we're heading up. Hopefully, we'll get some good stuff soon. All right, editing me again. Um, basically, what happened was we started that morning at 4 a.m. We were on our approach up to the Drizzle Puss, which is the top point before you rack down and actually start your climbing and we were in the dark, we couldn't find the approach. So we ended up doing a couple of pitches of really sketchy five, seven slab. And that just burned through a couple of our hours by the time we got to the top of the drizzle puss um, before you have to wrap down and climb. It was like 10 or 11 and we were just calculating and hoping that we weren't going to have to pack up our camp at the end of the day, go down the mountain and canoe across the lake in the pitch black. Um, just because, you know, we didn't know where the descent was and we wanted to make sure we were safe. So we ended up bailing and the next clip is us just unpacking our bags. Really sad because we didn't accomplish our goal. Here we are. I've been waiting years for the Sinclair. You see those beautiful lights of the city of Sinclair, Wyoming? Oh man. This is the world's Sinclair gas station in Sinclair, Wyoming. This is our oil refinery. We've got Pete's Eats over here. A little stinker uh, skunk on them. Oh man. I've been wanting to come here. Not even kidding, for probably five years. <laughs> I can't believe it was the same thing. Fucking beautiful it is. It does all around us. Wowie zowie. This is it. <laughs> this is what I've been waiting for. Look at that. The empty gas tank. Jordan is working at the Teton Library right now because we still had some work left to do. I finished my day early because I got off at three. So I went to go pick up the canoe. So now we have a canoe, which is very different than last time. We had a two person kayak. Um, so the canoe is much deeper, bigger. It's not gonna sink when we go to the middle of Jenny Lake and it's super nice and light. So got that. Uh, Jordan just booked a campsite at Signal Mountain. So we don't have to sleep in my car tonight, which is great. And I think I'm uh, going to go pick him up from the library and then we're going to go to the grocery store and pick up some food. Maybe pick up dinner and then head to our camp spot and just enjoy uh, the beautiful Tetons. And then tomorrow, the weather looks amazing, um, so we're not really worried about that. Uh, and we're going to get an early start, so I think we're going to head out and make sure that we're boating by 8 a.m. So we should have plenty of time to row across, hike, and then have plenty of daylight to just kind of rest, recharge, and then hike up part of the way of the approach to make sure that we know we've got the right approach this time. And uh, it's 
redemption. We're going to hopefully get Mount Moran, super low key climbing, probably simul almost all of it, which is fun. And yeah, I think it'll be great. I can't wait. Look at that bad boy. It's a giant canoe. It hangs like five wow, feet off Wow, he really put it. Pre-climb. <laughs> Last night, the birds are going crazy in the background. There's Moran. This year's the year we finally get up after failing last year, and uh, we're about to go to the store, get some coffee, get some breakfast, and then snag a parking spot and start packing. It's never small, that's for sure, but it'll do. Spring Lake, up to Mount Moran. We did this a year ago and a failed attempt. So we got our bags, our climbing stuff, and uh, here we are. No portage. Oh God, this is heavy. Between lakes, and this canoe. To Lee Lake, sink to the base of man. Yep, we're on Lee Lake. We made it. Yeah. I paddled the whole way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep, I'm the motor. <laughs> Look at it. We made it. We're at the upper camp. Hey. We did a, a long, long steep hike. A short, short steep hike. It felt long. But it felt long, hard on the legs, a lot of weight. We just scouted out the approach to the climb. Finally. Finally, we got the right area. It's super easy. Third class. Lame. Much, much different than last year. But um, yeah, it's four o'clock, so we have plenty of light left just to relax at camp, uh, make some dinner, and go to bed early for tomorrow. Nice. and just had to get water from barely, barely a stream. We spent probably 20 minutes getting our water for tomorrow, which is so nice. <laughs> it is 4 a.m. and we are gonna start up. We are just about done with the worst and hardest part. Coming up that long, steep scree. And uh, we're about to go up what they call the Drizzle Puss. And then you can see this big black dike. And actually, you have to wrap down and then climb a pretty big face, but it doesn't look like it from here. But that's where our climbing starts. Obviously, in much better shape than we were last year. The sun is rising and we're almost to the top of the drizzle bus, so sweet. All right, we just repelled from up there. One more repel down here. Kiwi coils on and we'll sign up to the bottom of the face. We pitch out some pitches up there and head up to the top. Okay, we are making our way up. Just simulin. Pretty easy climbing. Yeah. Just not great gear. Length. 
Kristen is. We are almost to the summit of Mount Moran. There's Lee Lake and Jackson Lake. And there's the Black Dyke. So, we can step out here. It's having fun. We're at the uh, third class ledges to the top. So, it'll just be uh, some scrambling and we'll be standing on the summit. And then comes the hard part, the down climb. Somehow, have to get down all this without a very uh, well written descent. So, stay tuned. And here she comes up to the summit, Mount Moran with the Grand Teton in the background. before we go back up Drizzle Plus. There it is! Hey. We it's just... Yeah, this is 256. Just we've got to go all the way down there and then we've got to pack up our camp and then go down to the lake and then canoe all the way across to there. Do a small portage to String Lake and then do a nice canoe over there and then our car is way over there! Yay. Jackson. 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 Probably missed dinner with Elise and Adam because we'll be late. Uh, and then hopefully we'll be sleeping in a hotel tonight. We'll see. Sure, the day camped way up there and we climbed to the summit. Now we're back to the canoes after a long hike down. And. Uh, Sadly, welcome to wonderful <laughs> Colorado. Kristen needs me to drive. Um, this is coming to the end of the trip. We're gonna stop in Rocky Mountain National Park and do some climbing there. And then back home for the 2021 van life summer. Oh, so there we are, a couple of adventures in Colorado. I mean, we don't have jobs still, so we're still climbing, biking. <laughs> Hiking, backpacking, etc. until we do. But uh, back to familiar territory. 